hi guys um just another quick video that i wanted to share some tips on how to save money so now it's very important to get in the habit of saving money in case of your emergency or in case you want to do some investment or to do a business or anything you might need in the future so if you save money now and you get started this money is going to help you in the future when you that when you need this money to be actually there so now we have to start by um writing a budget to budget how much is to watch how much is coming in and how much is going out so that we can consciously monitor where our money goes so also we should aim at creating assets as opposed to liabilities like the rich um dad guy says um assets are those things that bring money into our pockets and liabilities are those things that take money out of our pockets so we should focus on getting assets now tip number one on how to save money is um if you're a travel junkie you love traveling you love going places it is important that you buy your tickets ahead of time maybe it's the beginning of the year or you can plan your travels and i'm going to travel this place that place the other place and start buying those tickets ahead of time because if you buy tickets near to your travel dates tickets tend to be really expensive and also if you're traveling in like peak seasons like christmas easter or when kids are off school also tickets tend to be really expensive so you can choose to travel in those quiet seasons and then you will get save yourself some money now tip number two on how to save some money now we all go to work and um we pick up sandwiches for lunch from the store down the road but if possible or if you can prepare your meals and bring them to work so you can eat something you've actually prepared that will actually save you some money you could be spending money on sandwiches or maybe two pound or one pound fifty or three pound a day and then if this money accumulates by the end of the month it will be really much so you can save yourself some money by bringing your own meals now the other tip also is if you can and you don't probably working towards your credit history or you're not going to do an investment or you're not planning for a business at the moment avoid taking out credit cards you can take out credit cards if you're doing your credit history so that when you um sometime in the future when you need to take up a loan they can see your history and then they'll give you a loan but you're taking up credit cards because you want to go on holiday it's not advisable or you're taking up credit cards to spend money on buying a car or buying some designer clothes or perfumes it's not really advisable so avoid getting credit cards and also avoid getting loans you can take up loans if you're doing investment in a business or something that's going to bring money back into your pocket but if you're taking a loan for holiday once again not advisable now tip number four is um for those of you that are still single or you're still a student um, living with your parents please stick to wait for some time or if you're, you're single there's no point getting like a two bedroom flat or one bedroom flat and pay all these bills so you can find a room and share it and then you can save yourself some money because if you get a bigger house the more money that you have to pay and then it comes not just the rent there's internet there's water bills there's gas bills but if you at your parents house you don't incur all those things or if you share a room with somebody at least you will share the bills then it's not all entirely on you that can save you some money now tip number five if you're going shopping write a shopping list and stick by it normally we tend to go shopping and pick up all sorts of things and when you come at the till you pay and it's like 70 pounds and be like what because you just picked up things randomly but if you have a list and buy things that are really important you're gonna need you're gonna use that will actually save you some money now tip number six is uh if you have a membership for example gym or some dancing ballroom dancing or golfing or 
whatever it is that you have a membership if you're doing it that's fine but if you're not doing it please cancel the membership because these people keep taking out your money every month even though you're not going to their service people have gym memberships and they probably since they paid they opened up the membership they've never gone to the gym and the money like 40 pounds or 30 pounds is being taken off your account every month and you're not using the service so it is really advisable that you cancel the membership so that you can save yourself that money the last tip is learn to do your own things for example like the video i showed about doing hair you can learn to do your own hair because hair is really expensive it takes like 50 60 pounds to do hair like this and um you can learn to do your own hair and save yourself some money you can learn to do your nails you can learn to do your makeup for all the ladies and save yourself some money even the guys you can learn to actually cut your own hair because this hair grows and you keep going to the salon every two weeks every month you can learn to, to, to you can just buy the machine learn to cut the hair so that you can style up yourself so i hope these tips are really interesting um and you found them useful as always share the video and I shall see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.